Hello all, in this video we will be going through the midpoint algorithm for circle drawing. The midpoint algorithm is used in computer graphics to determine the points required to draw a 2D circle. For this case, let's imagine the center is at 0, 0 coordinates and for this example, let's say the radius is 12. And one thing to note here is that drawing one octant is enough because it can be simply mirrored on each sides to complete the pulled circle. Now let's draw one octant along the points available to us in the grid. We can notice a couple of things here. As you can see, we know the starting point, which is 12, 0, and we can see that the y value is always increasing by 1. We can also notice that the x value is always either the same or decreasing by 1. So now we know that if we know one point, there will be two possible next points. The midpoint algorithm uses a hypothetical midpoint between the two points to determine which of them is actually closer to the circle we have to draw. If the midpoint lies inside the circle, we can see that the point to the right of it is more closer to the circle we have to draw which means the next x-coordinate will be the same as the current x-coordinate. If the midpoint lies outside the circle, we can see that the point to the left of it is much closer to the circle, which means the next x-coordinate will be the current x-coordinate minus 1. We can all see that the next y-coordinate will always be the current y-coordinate plus 1. So now it's a matter of determining whether the midpoint lies inside or outside the circle. For this we can use simple geometry and Pythagoras theorem. Let's say O is the center of the circle and M is our midpoint and P is a point on the circle. If OM minus OP is negative, it would mean that M lies inside the circle. If OM minus OP is positive, it would mean that M lies outside the circle. For simplicity for the later calculations, we can note here that the sign of OM minus OP is always the same sign of OM squared minus OP squared. From Pythagoras theory, we can determine OM squared and we know OP squared is R squared where R is the radius. So if we can say PK is OM squared minus OP squared, we can get this equation for PK. And now we have all the variables we need to determine whether M lies inside or outside a circle which means we have all the variables to determine the next point in the circle. For any given point, we now can calculate pk, and we can get the value of the next point, pk plus 1, using this equation. You can refer to the blog post in the description for the proof. Since we know our starting point and the radius, all the variables are known, to keep calculating the next points until the octant is full. Once we know the points of one octant, it can be mirrored to complete the full circle. Thanks for watching.